Hi, and welcome to this video from Thrive Admin Services. Today, what I'm going to do is show you uh, how I use OneDrive, why I love using it in Microsoft 365, and the three key um, elements that make it really important in how I run my business, both in the back end from an admin perspective and in working with clients. So I'm going to share my screen. And um, so if you have worked with anything like um, Dropbox or Google Drive, then you'll be really familiar with the concept of cloud storage. Um, basically, Microsoft uses OneDrive as their option. It's built into your 365 business subscription and it allows you to access your files anywhere. So that's one of the first things that I love. You can have OneDrive on a tablet, on the web, on your desktop and on your mobile and everything syncs once you've set it up. So I love that. With one login, I've got access to everything all the time. Now, if you've worked with me before uh, in any capacity, whether you're a member of our Facebook group or if you have worked with me in a paid capacity or if you we've crossed paths anywhere, you'll know that if we share something and work on something, then I will set you up. And you would have seen some other videos from Thrive as well. We work with SharePoint and SharePoint and OneDrive integrate really, really well. So for me, I have, I'm going to show you how I do things um, at the back end for Thrive from a OneDrive perspective. So I have my OneDrive um, on my desktop or downloaded to my local machine. Now you will see from the screen, mine looks a little bit different perhaps to yours because I'm working on a Mac, but the functionality is the same across the board. So on my Mac, um, for your Mac users, each little cloud up here represents a different OneDrive account that I have. So I have one that is my own, that's the Thrive OneDrive. And then I have two, I have access to two client OneDrives at the moment as well. So they're separate and they require a separate login each time, okay? But on my local machine, I have the three different accounts are all here. So we're working with, this is my uh, Thrive one, but each of these opens the separate folders for different clients, okay? But we're working with this one at the moment. So um, I have my main OneDrive folder, which has all of the links to my other SharePoint sites that we've covered in another video. But in my own private documents one, this one is really handy and I wanted to show you this from a, um, in terms of how I run my own business, all right? So the first thing that I wanted to show you was um, that I use folders and you can set, the joy of OneDrive is that you can set it up in a way that makes sense to you. You can name your folders however you like, you can group things however you like. Um, my view settings just to be clear, I set everything up in a list because it makes my life easier. And I also group them by kind. So we have all the folders together, all the documents, all the images, all the PDFs, etc. So they're broken down. So if I know I'm looking for a PDF, I'm not randomly scrolling. Um, and I use a numbering system to keep things in order. That's the way my brain works. Um, and so I use 00 for anything that is Thrive related. Um, I used to have other folders for other entities and other parts of my life. So I would have, you can see I've got 01 is Tansy Consulting, which was my husband's business. And I used to have 02, which was personal, right? But I keep that separate now as well. Um, so I have everything broken down this way and then it's sorted alphabetically. I wanted to show you how I do um, the collaboration element of working with OneDrive. So for me, I work with a social media manager and she has access to another one of my OneDrive. So if I go back to the main one, I have one that is Thrive Social Media. And you can see in here, we've got some folders, we've got all the designs. So whenever she pops a design into my, um, our planner board, when she uploads it to the planner board, it goes in here as well. So you can see we've got them all grouped. So we've got quotes and we've got templates and we've got um, blog post things and particular topics. So we keep things named fairly succinctly. These are old ones that we need to go through. So, um, And that's built up over time. So every time you add something to a planner board, it'll put it into your document folder. All right. So we've got those sitting there as well. Then we've got some folders at the top. So when I create um, my reels, this will take a moment just to come in. It's been, it's been playing up a little bit lately. Which one have we got? 
there we go. So once I've got things that are categorized by folder, then we pop them in, in here um, and we try and keep them really clear. Um, I pop all our reports here. So you can see that that's the, the view we use um, and they're all in one central place. So from here, anyone, so my settings have been set up so that I can share links with anybody. So from here, I might decide, oh, I need to talk to her about something in this report or she might send me the report and put it straight in. Instead of sending it to me as an email, she'll pop it straight into the folder and she can right click and she can share it with me. She can share it with me. I'll bring this, sorry, I'm working off several. So you can share it with me. Anyone with the link can edit. She can also make it so that it's only for me or that people who already have access to this folder can see it. Um, all right, so we do that. And then she would email it to me. Um, or she can email it to all of the Thrive Admin members as well, all right? So she can then send that email to me and it has a link in it. I can click on it and I'll open it up. It means that when I click on that link and open it, I'm opening it in this folder. So if she's still working on the document, I'm seeing the current version. And that's a huge bonus when you're working with things that are evolving all the time, like a social media content calendar or whether we're mapping what, um, what content will go where and we're having a play around with that calendar, or if we're coming up with a, an ongoing list of sort of some key tips that we want to cover, um, I can say, look, hey, I've popped these into the list. Don't forget to check it out. Here it is. Um, so that we can keep, she's always looking at the most current version of what we're working with. So the collaboration elements um, for OneDrive, are fantastic and I can collaborate with her whether I'm on my desktop, whether I'm on my laptop, whether I'm on a tablet or whether I'm on my phone. Um, that brings me to the next thing that I love about OneDrive is I can access it anywhere. So I'm just going to stop sharing for a second. Um, so I wanted to show you, so on my phone, so I have the OneDrive app on my phone as well and so here you'll see I've got all of the folders and they're the same as all of the ones that I might have, we go, so you can see that's the same folder. Oops, it's a bit, sorry, the light is playing up a little bit. Um, and then if I go in here, oops, wrong folder. If I go into my social media folder, um, you will see that that's the same set of folders that we've got. Um, yeah, it's a bit blurry. But so I can do it on my phone when I'm, sitting on public transport, if I'm waiting at a cafe, if I'm out and about and she says, hey, um, can you just check that today's drafts are right to go? Bing, 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 done. So I love being able to do it on the phone um, so I don't have to pull the laptop out if I'm out somewhere. It's really, really handy. Um, the last thing that I really love is the ability to free up my inbox. All right, so you'll see um, Thrive's channel has another video about sharing links with OneDrive and you saw me do it just before, sharing a link, whether you do it directly from here or whether you copy the link and paste it into an email and make it a pretty hyperlink with different text is a huge, a huge deal. You can share links to files of up to 100 megabytes. You can't email a document that size. So if you have a document or a spreadsheet or a PDF or a project or a Gantt chart or um, you know, graphic images. If you're working with your social media manager or a graphic designer on logos, they can put them straight into the folder and send you the link and you can just look at them in the folder. And I think the ability to stop dragging everything into your emails, whether that's Google, whether it's Gmail, whether it's Outlook, whether it's, a, you know, a GoDaddy domain, whether you're using, I don't know, honestly, whatever email server you're using, there are limits and there are limits for the recipients. And I think being able to make it look super professional with a link and say, hi, you can access the document by clicking this link. They can download it and work on it and send it back to you. That's fine. But you look like you have your shit together. And you also, it just gives you, it gives you the freedom to customise your content and say, right, you can click this button for this, you know, to see this document, or you can um, you can pop five or six different links into large documents. You can send them to any content you like. 
Um, and at any time you can revoke that. You can pop a password on it. So the security is really good. You can limit the access to purely people that you authorize for a file or a folder. So I, I love using OneDrive. I love the idea of cloud storage period, but I love using OneDrive for two very, very simple reasons. One, I don't pay a cent extra to have all of these tools. So by paying for Microsoft 365 business, I have OneDrive automatically and it's there and it's not another login and I can just jump in and work with it straight away. So from a financial perspective, it makes sense to use it. And also, you know, from a time perspective, I'm putting my files in there. Why wouldn't I just be using that tool? Um, everything's linked. Everything works. The other reason that I just love OneDrive is that it gives me the control, the security and the control to allow people in, to stop people from looking at things, to um, restrict access, to move content and to share content in a way that fits with how I do business. So I personally segment everything and I only allow the people who are working on that project to have access to that project folder. When that project finishes, I just remove everybody from the access. So no one else can access it after I've finished. No one's coming in six months later with an old login or an old link that's going to work because they're no longer allowed. And I can do that as I like. If a project ends and the client has everything and then we finish and we're not working on anything else, I just shut down all of their access. If we start working again, I re-invite them. But everything is cleaned up in the meantime. They only have access to current content. Um, it's perfect if you work with subcontractors or team members. You can give them access to certain files and folders and not others. From an HR perspective, from a finance perspective, it's just a really sensible tool to use. So if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription and you are not already using your OneDrive, and you may have Google Drive, you may have uh, Dropbox, you may be using something else completely, have a look, have a play, set up some folders, pop some of your content in and see how it works for you. It, it may not be for you and that's totally fine. But why pay for something that you don't, you don't need to? Why pay for a Dropbox workspace or a Google workspace at X number of dollars per month when you've got this unlimited tool at, at your disposal? Um, I've been working with it now for over 12 months. I'm nowhere near using my uh, capacity. So I have loads of room and I have a lot of stuff um, because I am a little bit of a control freak and I like to keep versions of things and, and all the rest of it. So just check it out. Have a good look. If you have a question about working with OneDrive or you've got any problems, you can pop a comment on this video or you can pop over to Facebook and find our free Facebook group, Microsoft Dynamos, where we answer loads of questions about this sort of stuff all the time. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified whenever anything new pops up. You can follow Thrive on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram or Pinterest. Just search for Thrive Admin Services and that's where you'll find all the best tips and tricks for getting more bang for your buck out of your Microsoft 365 subscription.